How are we doing today, guys? Thank you once again for joining me on Viper 9 Toy Video. Today, I have the Judge Dread and Lawmaster MK2 from Haya Toys. Uh, I know I just did a video on the, what was it, Scorched Earth Judge Dread not too long ago, and I was like, oh, now I probably won't pick these up. But I did, mainly because I got really, really hooked up with these at a local toy show. Um, I did get both Dread and Anderson for the a really, really good price. So I do have to do a shout out to Abel on that. I'm gonna do Anderson in a separate video, but let's, let's go ahead and like I said, uh, give that shout out to Abel and then I'm gonna go ahead and tear into this, this Judge Dread and Lawmaster because I didn't think I was gonna end up picking them up after picking up that skirt, that Scorched Earth Judge Dread. But eh, I don't know, I guess things just aligned. Oh, that's kind of cool. That art in the back of all the, the judges. And that is a separate piece. So that can actually come out. That's super rad. I dig that a lot. That's really cool looking. But, you know, like I have said in a lot of, you know, the couple other Judge Dread videos that I have done. Yeah, the couple other. I've done, I've done two others. The one for the crocodile guy and then the scorched earth, I guess. I haven't... Yeah. Uh, I don't know a lot about the Judge Dread, Dread comics. I know in my last video I had a couple recommendations on what comics to go for. Uh, so I could get caught up on that. Let's go ahead and see about popping... Oh, come on. There is no, like, rubber bands or anything like that holding this in. Oh, no, there is a rubber band right there. It was hiding very, very well. Let's see if we can do this. Nope. There we go. So there is the Lawmaster. There is the Judge Dread. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and pop out his pistol here. So he does come with his baton, as well as an extra set of hands, just like the Scorched Earth version does. I do not see an area to like connect the baton onto the bike, which is a little bit of a bummer because I know Drudge Dread or Dread himself did not have a section to put the baton on him either. We'll go ahead and fit the, the blaster in his leg holster. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of walk over or go over the Judge Dread again. That that last one that I did had the the weird cloak on him and the, the odd colors. So here is the, the Lawmaster Judge Dread. Here is the Scorched Earth. So he does have a little bit of paint difference on his visor. Got kind of the lightning marks there, a little bit of weathering difference. And if you look at the figures themselves, the tarnishing is just a little bit different. Like this, this Judge Dredd, I guess, is just dirty. You can see where a lot of his, his uniform that has got the dirt and the scuzz on it. Which makes sense if it's scorched earth. So he does have the single ball joint neck. The shoulder articulation is hindered a little bit by his pauldrons, but I know I know this particular dread has to have the pauldrons. And same with his elbow articulation. His elbow articulation is really hindered by these uh, elbow pads that he has. Oh, he has one set of hands probably for the gun and one set of hands for the writing. That's awesome. He does have the double, uh, the mid chest and the waist pivot. Hip articulation is really well. It's that rocking hip articulation. So he should be able to fit on that bike really well. Double hinged knees and rocker ankles. So that's all super rad. He should be able to sit on the bike fairly good. The bike is solid. It does have rubber wheels. I am just now noticing this though. So let's go ahead and pull that out of there. And what does this on switch do? 
Oh no, dead batteries. So I'm assuming, oh, I bet these lights down here actually light up. They're supposed to light up, but I bet because this toy is a little old by now, it doesn't. So I might have to replace the batteries on that. Like I said, it's just an assumption, but I think these actually down here have bulbs in them. And then it does have uh, some firearms there, exhaust pipes, foot pegs, rubber wheels, and those things are thick too. Like the bike will tip, but it won't go very far. It does set very well. Yeah, that's, that's pretty rad. Let's go ahead and get Dread on on his bike at least we'll see if we can get dread on his bike shoulder articulation is wanting to be a little wicked get that hand slipped on that hand slipped on and there we have it there's dread on his law master mk2 he actually wants to fit on that really well that makes me super happy. There's nothing worse than getting a figure that's supposed to ride on a bike and he just does not want to fit on the bike at all. Um, I know. Wheelies are probably illegal. You'd have to go spend like five years in an ISO cube or something like that. Uh, overall, guys, I'm super happy I was able to pick this up. I can't wait to crack into Anderson to get this pair rolling. I am a little concerned I am going to have to crack it open to get those batteries replaced or at least take out the batteries so we don't have to worry about corrosion at all. But there you have it. There is the Judge Dread with the Lawmaster MK2. I'm super happy I was able to pick this up. I can't wait to get some pictures with this guy. Uh, I have a couple ideas rolling around already. And then I do also have to ask, who would win in an arrest off, Judge Dredd or RoboCop? Let me know in the comments on that one who you think would have a higher arrest record, Judge Dredd or RoboCop. And right there, guys, I'm going to leave that with. Hit that like, smash that follow if you haven't already, and thank you for watching.